thank the council members and the mayor for taking this uh, issue so seriously. We know that uh, with AB 1453, our initiative has always been to look at Orange County as a whole, knowing that there has been so strong support to look at the Great Park. Uh, I just want to quickly, quickly give a few uh, specifics of the urgency. As was noted, we will be presenting this uh, on August 4th, and certainly having an identified site uh, makes uh, this much more of a reality. Well, I think the best policy and the best uh, type of legislation is really legislation that comes from the community. This, uh, in fact, came from uh, Orange County Veterans Memorial Group that really had worked on this uh, initiative for over a decade and uh, as I was named uh, the veterans chair of the state of California I was very humbled and honored to be approached by this group to talk about this legislation and actually say let's do it and so I think uh, my go get them attitude and their long-term commitment and uh, background of the project really uh, became very uh, timely and I think the result tonight shows that uh, when there is a will there is a way we're here because we want to be here and we want to stay here. Why that site? It is on MCAS El Toro. It has the heritage, the honor, and the aura. Nothing else in Orange County that we consider can match it. We have been interested in a veteran cemetery at El Toro since we first heard about it closing in 1999. We've, we've thought since the very beginning this would be an ideal site with the heritage for a veteran cemetery. Now, in particular, why? I happened to be a young Marine of 20 years old back in 1967 when I went through my, my training down at Camp Pendleton in weapons and tactics to go to Vietnam. We came up here by the bus load. We were put on planes by the plane load. A lot of those guys that I came up with were teenage PFCs and Lance Corporals. As was stated in this meeting tonight, this was the last place over there on those runways that some American boys ever stood on American soil. I want to share with you this photograph. It's an iconic photograph at the end of World War II. It's symbolic of a grateful nation. Spare the sacred ground for a veteran cemetery tonight so our boys won't have to go without. My father is 89. His last station was at El Toro. He is sitting in Costa Mesa right now, hoping that you will make the right decision to put a cemetery here. We are all here for a very short time, and our legacy many times is forgotten, but this bill would live long past us. It's important. This is the time. Today is the moment, and you are part of a historic time, and we urge your vote. Thank you. Thank you. We are ready, uh, ready to vote. Motion carries unanimously. We are thrilled tonight that the Irvine City Council moved forward, AB 1453. I think having a unanimous vote uh, really means that this council, although a few had concerns, their questions were answered, and I think as they heard more about the details, they learned our commitment, they were able to get on board. That certainly doesn't mean we still don't have uh, hurdles to cross or jump through, and uh, you can see with our determination, we'll continue to move forward. Thank you.